this is Rebecca Dirks with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Winter NAMM 2010, checking out what's new from Toadworks with Ryan Dunn. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Yeah. You going to show us what, what you brought to the show? I think we've got the Pipeline. Yeah, that's right. we got the Pipeline and the Fat City. Those are the two brand new pedals. Um, basically, Pipeline is kind of a dual purpose pedal. It's a tremolo, but it also does the harmonic vibrato found on the early 60s brown Fender amps. They only made them for a few years and it was a really complex tremolo circuit and uh, basically we replicated that in a 9 volt pedal. Right. And uh, it has some cool stereo stuff going on, right? Absolutely, yeah. You can, you can, it has a mono effect but also stereo out and in stereo mode it'll actually pan the tremolo back and forth or the harmonic vibrato back and forth between two speakers. Alright, now we're going to try to listen to that, right? Absolutely. We're going to set up a couple uh, mics and uh, see if we can really capture it. Demonstrating, we've got Tom Quayle, um, fantastic guitarist from Leeds in uh, England. He's uh, an endorsing Toadworks artist, and he's going to do a little pipeline demo for us. All right. That sounded great. I hope it comes across, but uh, it, it, the panning sounds really great. What were you What were you doing with the pedal? While um, we basically, um, he began with a fairly low intensity, had standard tremolo mode in stereo, and after about I don't know 40, 50 seconds or so, I switched over to the harmonic vibrato, and that's where the alternating high and low pass filters kicked in. And uh, obviously, I was messing with the speed a little bit and the intensity to give a to show it can get a very light vibrato or a very heavy one. Great. Now you also have the Fat City. Right. You want to tell us about that a little bit? Absolutely. Basically, it is two independent overdrives. It is um, they're basically we've got a one mild overdrive and one fairly heavy Marshall type overdrive. Um, they're independent of each other, so you can have either one or both on at the same time. You can cascade. Um, in addition, it's got an independent boost, which can be switched to be pre or post overdrive. So you can, in pre mode, you can just goose the overdrive a little bit with a hotter signal. In post mode, you can actually increase the volume significantly. Great. And we're also going to take a listen to this one too, right? right. And we've got another fantastic guitarist extraordinaire from England. Uh, his name is Rick Graham. Um, Rick is going to be tearing it up for us a little bit on the Fat City. So why don't we start off with uh, the lighter overdrive, overdrive number two. Thank <laughs> you. 
mild overdrive the overdrive two um, then I switched it off after a few seconds and we went to overdrive number one which is the heavier more martial type overdrive and then basically I switched on the second overdrive along with the first overdrive and you got a cascading effect and it, it ends up getting a in a lot of gain but it's oddly defined and it's a uh, it's a fat city all right Ryan, thanks a lot uh, if people want to learn more about the pedals uh, where should they go www.toadworksusa.com Thanks. This is Rebecca Dirks with PremierGuitar.com at WinterNam 2010.